Eden. Did you think I'd forgotten about you? Never! A ten-year-old girl wrote a letter to the Swedish Prime Minister suggesting the country be renamed. To what? Soiden? The Islamic Caliphate of Sweden? Cookden? That one doesn't work. No, she wanted a name that felt more inclusive, a name that would reflect Sweden's newfound diversity. A name that paid homage to Sweden's multicultural melting pot. That name is Blandland. Yes, Blandland. Really? The reason? Because everyone is from mixed countries and people are discriminated against in Sweden. Or something, because nothing says washed out, diluted, guilt ridden, post nationhood, globalist dystopia quite like Blandland. Now, of course, I'm not blaming the 10 year old girl for anything here. I firmly blame her moronic parents. But how did the Swedish Prime Minister respond to renaming Sweden Blandland? He called it an ingenious idea, although I'm not quite sure that bland is the best word to describe what's been happening in Sweden recently. In fact, it's been quite exciting. So exciting that the CEO of Volvo says the company might move its headquarters out of the country entirely. That's not bland. So exciting that a prominent organization representing Assyrian Christians in Sweden has warned that a civil war is looming. That's not bland. So exciting that Swedish author Bjorn Ranelid warns the country is already experiencing a small scale civil war. That's not bland. So exciting that international security expert Olaf Fjordgren warns that Sweden is on the way to civil war as a result of its soft justice system. That's not bland. So exciting that UPS announced it would stop delivering packages to the multicultural area of Rosengard in Malmo because, quote, our drivers have been attacked and we have therefore decided not to distribute packages in Rosengard. That's not bland. So exciting that Swedish state-owned mail company Post Nord announced that it can no longer deliver packages to a heavily migrant populated area of Malmo because it's too dangerous. That's that's not bland. So exciting that churches in migrant heavy areas mysteriously keep blowing up. That's not bland. So exciting that the use of grenades in Sweden is now at a level unique in the world for a state not at war. That's not bland. So exciting that deadly shootings in Sweden have also risen by a factor of 10 in one generation. That's not bland. So exciting that rapes just went up 20% for women and 40% for men. That's not bland. So exciting that nearly half of young women in vulnerable areas of Sweden report they feel unsafe going out at night. That's not bland. So exciting that police in one area told women not to go out late to avoid being raped. That is not bland. So exciting that a pro-migrant campaigner went home with two Afghan migrants to prove xenophobes wrong and ended up being raped. That's not bland. So exciting that murder is up 40% since 2012 and the number of gun homicides has more than doubled in 10 years. That's not bland. So exciting that car fires, which were unheard of 20 years ago, are now commonplace. That's not bland. So exciting that personal robbery is now so common in Sweden that the police urge Swedes to DNA mark their belongings. That's not bland. So exciting that female genital mutilation cases at one hospital have increased 2000% since 2003. That's not bland. So exciting that the number of cases in Sweden of Leishmaniasis, a parasitic disease which can lead to death, has doubled since 2015. That's not bland. So exciting that the Jewish congregation in Malmo warns that, quote, Malmo is already a no-go zone for Jews around the world. That's not bland. So exciting that Swedish men are sterilizing themselves in record numbers while kindergarten workers are being told to encourage boys to wear dresses. That's not bland. So exciting that Swedes who talk about any of this on the internet are routinely arrested, interrogated, fined and imprisoned. And that's definitely not bland. <laughs> It's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star, link in description, and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.